Uh, first, I'd like you to write down 3x minus 10 plus 4x is equal to negative 2 that we're going to distribute to x minus 4. It is frozen. Sorry about that. There we go. Plus 9. Bless you. Bless you. Could you get the lights? It might be easier to see. Okay. What do you guys think our first step should be? Distribute. distribute. We're going to distribute this first. So that our next line looks almost exactly the same, except on the right side we'll have some changes where it becomes negative 2x. And then what's going to happen with that negative 2 times negative 4? Positive, positive 8 plus 9. So if there's something to distribute, that's what we want to do first. What's our next step? Combining. Combining like terms. We have a 3x on the left and a 4x, so that's going to become 7x. And then the minus 10 stays. And what are we going to combine on the right side? So we get negative 2x plus 17. And then I need to start moving like terms to the opposite sides of the equation. Because I need this 7x and this negative 2x to be together. And I need the negative 10 and the positive 17 to be together. I'm going to add the 2x. And I like doing shortcuts here. I'm going to x this out to show that that's going to become a 0. And I'm going to add the 10 to both sides. Why do I do this? I'm a really visual person. And if I can see that I've zeroed a term out on both sides, then I know that I'm getting the right things together. We end up with 9x is equal to 27. And what are we going to do with that 27? Divide, divide, it, by nine. divide by 9. And we get x is equal to 3. Now, if this was on a test, or if you were unsure about it, I would say go back to the original equation and plug in that 3 where the x's are and see if it works. You would know it works if both sides of the equation come up with the same number. Okay, I'm going to try one more problem. We have four minutes, so hopefully there's enough time. Please write down 5 eighths times 16. The book is using D. I don't like D. I'm going to use X. Plus 24 equals 6 distributed to X minus 1 plus 1. There's a fraction there. We don't like fractions. To get rid of it, we need to turn it into a positive 1 by multiplying it by its reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply the left side by 8 over 5. But that means I also have to multiply the right side by 8 over 5. And I'm going to show you guys something really quickly. The left side, these two things are just going to become a 1, right? Because 8 times 5 and 5 times 8 are going to become 40 over 40, which is 1. That's going to leave 16x plus 24. Now, before I really want to multiply on the right side, I want to distribute what's on that over there. So I'm going to rewrite this as 6x minus 6 plus 1. And I've got that 8 over 5 I still haven't dealt with. And before I multiply, I really want to combine like terms. Because I'm multiplying a fraction into those numbers, and the least terms I do that to would make it easier. Does that make sense? And I'm just going to erase it and fix it so I don't have to rewrite this line. If we weren't crunched up against time, I probably would have done it the right way. So now I'm going to think, what is 8 times 6? 48 divided by 5. So this is 48 over 5x. 
And f negative 5 times 8 <laughs> divided by 5, it's going to give us negative 8. Equals 16x plus 24. Yes? Why is it a negative Because this was a negative 5 times 8 divided by 5. We've got a negative and a positive that we're multiplying. Okay? Um, right now I'm going to add this 8. No, I don't want to do that yet. Now, I picked this problem on purpose. This was a try it in your book. Because it had this reciprocal, the book example uses one half to teach this, and I'm like, one half is easy. When it's got... When we're having to deal with this 8 over 5, it, it makes it more complex. What do we want to do to get rid of this 5? Because 48 does not evenly divide by 5. We get to multiply by it. And we are about to run out of time. 5 times 16 plus 24. I'll finish this and put a picture on Classroom so you guys can look at it later. But we're going to end up with 48x minus 40. Is that what 16 times 5 is? 80? And I'm trying to do 24. 25 times 5 would be 125, so it's going to be 120. Yeah. I have to be at a meeting at 11.45, so that's not going to give us 